Hi guys, in previous video, we cover reconnaissance and important tools, and we saw how hacker perform information gathering phase with real world examples. If you didn't see that video, I will suggest you to watch that video on a first place. Before go to scanning part of this video, make sure you know about some important protocols. Let's get started. Before penetration testing, how could we possibly know about host, is he alive, and which services running on that host? For that purpose, we need to perform scanning. We perform this part into two ways, number one, active scanning, and number two, passive listening, in active scanning we will cover, ICMP scanning, and DARP scanning. And the second part of scanning is, passive listening, which we will done with sniffing. Let's check another host IP address. Now we receive a packets. Here you can see ICMP sequence is equal to 1. So, what is ICMP? ICMP means Internet Control Message Protocol is a connectionless protocol used for error reporting, diagnostic functions, and network management. It is a supporting protocol for the Internet Protocol SWE, ICMP messages are typically used for error reporting, like destination unreachable, diagnostic functions, like echo request and echo reply, network management, for example router advertisement, and router solicitation. ICMP is often used for scanning because it can provide valuable information about a network or host without establishing a connection. Here are some reasons why. Ping scans, ICMP echo requests can be used to determine if a host is alive and responding. Network discovery, ICMP router discovery protocol can be used to discover routers and their addresses. ICMP can be used to determine the maximum transmission unit of a path. ICMP can be used to scan for open ports by sending ICMP packets to specific ports. However, it's important to note that ICMP scanning can be blocked or filtered by firewalls and some networks may not respond to ICMP requests. Additionally, excessive ICMP scanning can be considered malicious activity. Always use scanning tools responsibly and with permission from the network owner. Once again, remember, the primary purpose of ICMP is for error reporting. When two devices connect over the internet, the ICMP generates errors to share with the sending device in the event that any of the data did not get to its intended destination. For example, if a packet of data is too large for a router, the router will drop the packet and send an ICMP message back to the original source for the data. Unfortunately, network attacks can exploit this process, creating means of disruption such as the ICMP flood attack and the ping of death attack. How does ICMP work? Unlike the IP, the ICMP is not associated with a transport layer protocol such as TCP or UDP. One device does not need to open a connection with another device before sending an ICMP message. Normal IP traffic is sent using TCP, which means any two devices that exchange data will first carry out a TCP handshake to ensure both devices are ready to receive data. ICMP does not open a connection in this way. The ICMP protocol also does not allow for targeting a specific port on a device. You guys thinking, what is an ICMP packet? An ICMP packet is a packet that uses the ICMP protocol. ICMP packets include an ICMP header after a normal IP header. When a router or server needs to send an error message, the ICMP packet body or data section always contains a copy of the IP header of the packet that caused the error. After discuss some detail, let's move to another question, which is, is it true that ICMP used in DDoS attacks? The answer is big yes. When the attacker attempts to overwhelm a targeted device with ICMP echo request packets, the target has to process and respond to each packet, consuming its computing resources until legitimate users cannot receive service. 
What is ping of death attack? A ping of death attack is when the attacker sends a ping larger than the maximum allowable size for a packet to a targeted machine, causing the machine to freeze or crash. The packet gets fragmented on the way to its target. But when the target reassembles the packet into its original maximum exceeding size, the size of the packet causes a buffer overflow. The ping of death attack is largely historical at this point. However, older networking equipment could still be susceptible to it. The third attack we should know about it, smurf attack. In a smurf attack, the attacker sends an ICMP packet with a spoof source IP address. Networking equipment replies to the packet, sending the replies to the spoofed IP and flooding the victim with unwanted ICMP packets. Like the ping of death, today the smurf attack is only possible with legacy equipment. We can ping a single device, we will use ping command, but if we want to check which host online on entire network subnet, for that purpose we use ping sweep. There are several tools out there that do ping sweep, but we will use nmap. We have host A, which is sending out echo requests to every available IP on a subnet, and look for responses.